Hello Trojan fans and athletes and parents. Um, this is Coach Vigil reporting from Jack LaSalle Field in Los Animas, Colorado. And I'm here today to present the 2019 Trojan Football Awards for those that achieved um, some great successes and also to recognize all the uh, players and those that earned varsity letters in 2019. Uh, before I begin with the players awards, I just want to say a few quick thank yous to some of the people that really made our um, season fun and successful and work behind the scenes and they don't get a lot of credit all the time so I want to make sure they do get recognized. I want to begin with uh, our administration, also uh, our athletic department which is, includes our athletic directors and our athletic secretary and also our communications director who was a huge asset in terms of getting information out and sharing some of the highlights from the season throughout the season. So thank you to all of you. Um, we appreciate all your help, your uh, enthusiasm and support throughout the 2019 season. Um, now I want to also recognize the coaching staff that worked with me this year. Uh, I had a great group of guys and I'm very happy to have most of them returning next year and they were a lot of fun to work with and very supportive as well and they did a lot to help me build a positive culture and make steps in the right direction. So I want to begin with um, my main assistant coach and defensive coordinator Bob Beebe. Uh, Mr. Beebe is a great asset to us and he was a lot of fun to work with and has a wealth of knowledge and, and really cares for our players and students so thank you Mr. Beebe. And also a couple of our volunteer um, assistant coaches that helped out a lot throughout the season and were very reliable and fun to work with. And those are um, Tio Alvidrez, Santana Martinez, and Michael Torres. So thank you guys for donating your time and making this a good experience for our players and coaches as well. Thank you. Um, and last thank you I want to say, it's a huge thank you to our managers who were there for us the entire season and have been with us for multiple seasons. That's Liliana Hernandez and Kayla Lucero. Um, very, very good girls to have around to take care of the team and the equipment and do lots of the little things that us coaches don't necessarily have time for sometimes. And they're just a lot of fun to be around and I thank them for all their time and effort. So thank you girls. And now I'll move into recognizing the athletes who participated in football this year. So here's my list of uh, all the young men who um, joined the 2019 football team and made it a fun year and worked hard for us. And so I need, they all need to be individually recognized. So here's all the guys that participated this year. Jordan Anaya, Marcus Vigil, Caleb O'Connor, Rome Martinez, James Zook, Justin Miller, Nick Chavez, Isaac Stevens, Cooper Elam, Caden Moreland, Dayton Moreland, Lucas Whitmire, Diego Trujillo, Dylan Smith, Doug Miller, Brock Bender, Cutter Nichols, Denton Wilbanks, Devin Loveland, Colin Arona, Miles Rader, Alex Montoya, and Jose De La Rosa Delgado. So thank you guys for all coming out and participating. And now I'm gonna also recognize those who earned varsity letters in 2019. See if I can get to my page. There we go. Okay. So here's the guys who earned varsity letters uh, in the 2019 season. Jordan Anaya, Caleb O'Connor, Marcus Vigil, James Zook, Colin Arona, Justin Miller, Joseph Hawkins, Cooper Elam, Caden Moreland, Dayton Moreland, Lucas Whitmire, Diego Trujillo, Brock Bender, Cutter Nichols, Miles Rader, Denton Wilbanks, and Alex Montoya. So congratulations on you got to, uh, to you guys for a successful season and for earning those varsity letters. Now I'm going to move on to the individual awards uh, for those that earn additional recognition through various methods and various uh, successes on the football field. So I'll begin with our 2019 Special Teams Player of the Year. Um, our Special Teams Player of the Year was Justin Miller. Justin served as our punter, uh, kicker, punt returner, kick returner, and lots of different other things in special teams. And he was very successful 
and led the team in each of those categories at the positions listed. And he did a great job and he's a lot of fun to be around and he, he works extremely hard. So great job, Justin, in 2019. And I look forward to seeing you in 2020. Our rookie of the year goes to a freshman, Denton Wilbanks. Um, Denton was so, thrown to the wolves somewhat. And as a freshman, he was um, asked to be an anchor on our offensive line, you know, which is a hard task for anybody, but especially a young man uh, coming into his first year with the team. And I'm proud of his efforts and he really grew throughout the season, um, both physically and mentally. And he, he's gonna be a, a great asset to us in the future. So congratulations to our Rookie of the Year, Denton Wilbanks. Our most improved player of the year goes to another freshman, Mr. Cooper Elam. So Cooper really worked hard on the football field this year and he definitely got better as the year went on, but he even started out strong. Um, he, he, we went to Calhan for a preseason scrimmage and we were having some hiccups here and there trying to bring things together, and which is typical for a scrimmage. But about halfway through the scrimmage, Cooper had two of the biggest hits I've seen in a long time and it really sparked our team and picked us up and he only got better from there and again he's only a freshman so I'm looking forward to having him back for more years to come so thank you Cooper and congratulations on being our most improved this year um, it's kind of a fun one our comic relief award and that goes to mr. Joseph Hawkins um, Joe's a lot of fun to be around he's a great athlete in his own right and a great asset to our team on the field with his actions but he's also good for a laugh uh, quite often and he's a goofball and that's what I love most about him I think but he's very coachable as well he knows when to be serious and when to not necessarily uh, have to be too serious and that we need that you know it's got to be fun football is not just hard work and you know hitting people it's fun it's got to be fun and he brings that to our team so thank you Joseph for a fun year and for earning the comic relief award Okay, moving along. So I will move on to our defensive player of the year. So I couldn't pick just one this season because we had a couple of players that really shined defensively for the Trojans and worked uh, extremely hard and well with Coach Beebe. Um, they anchored our linebacking core and achieved some great accolades during the season. First one I want to start with is Cutter Nichols. Uh, Cutter's been with this team for many years. Uh, he'll, he'll be graduating here in a few days, and um, or he is graduating this year, sorry. And um, he's been a lot of fun to be around. I got the opportunity to coach him in basketball for three years, and so it was fun to finish out his football career with him. And he had the second most tackles of anybody on the team, and that's despite missing the first three games of the season and most of the final game of the season due to injury. So he really only played about half of the season, um, but nonetheless uh, was the second leading tackler and a very strong leader on the defensive side of the ball. So good job, Cutter. Our second defensive player of the year goes to a newcomer that we got um, in from South Carolina this year, Mr. Lucas Whitmire. Um, Lucas also was a strong linebacker for us, and um, he actually had a great accolade in terms of he led the entire state of Colorado eight-man football with uh, tackles for loss. He had 22 tackles for loss this year, um, which again uh, tops the entire state. So kudos to him. He's a hard-nosed dude, and he hits really hard. And he was in the backfield so much, I think uh, sometimes the quarterbacks thought that he was a running back or something. So great job, Lucas. You're a great asset to us. A lot of fun to be around, and I'm looking forward to having you back. So our defensive players of the year are Cutter Nichols and Lucas Whitmire. Um, next on the docket is the Hector Award. So this is an award that I came up with uh, my first year of coaching basketball. And since then, uh, it's become the motto of our school, really, um, Hector. Hector was the greatest Trojan warrior. And so we use that to signify um, all the virtues and those things that we look for in a Trojan student athlete. Um, so some of those things are honesty, um, excellence, coachability, tolerance, optimism, and respect. And so I had to pick a player, which is hard to do because we have a lot of guys that really display Hector, 
but one that really stood out as the, the guy was Diego Trujillo, Big Hungry. Um, Diego came to us last year from Colorado Springs, so we got a couple seasons out of him. He's also a senior this year, and um, he's a lot of fun to be around, and he's extremely coachable. Never missed a practice, uh, played almost every single snap on both sides of the ball, uh, offense and defense, and special teams. Uh, very rarely took a playoff, only whenever he absolutely had to, or deserved a break, in my opinion. Um, but he was so reliable and just good to be around. And so I wish him the best of luck in the future. And thank you so much for showing Hector on the football field and also in the classroom. So good job, Diego Trujillo, Hector Award winner of 2019. Our Offensive Player of the Year goes to a first year player uh, who is a sophomore actually, Caden uh, Moreland. Caden uh, had a great season this year. He was our starting tailback, running back, and we gave him the ball a lot, so he was tasked with uh, taking a lot of punishment by being a ball carrier, and he, he ran with it, literally and figuratively. Um, he's a tough kid, I'm looking forward to having him back. Um, just a couple of numbers I wanna throw out there. Uh, first of all, he did lead the entire team in rushing yards, and um, in particular, he had an outstanding game uh, when we played, played Wiley. We went to Wiley, and the entire team played well that night, but Caden really had a breakout game, which included a 98-yard touchdown run, which was super exciting, and then also finishing the night with 277 rushing yards, which is quite a feat. So I'm proud of him and all the things that he did in 2019 and look forward to his 2020 output. So our 2019 Offensive Player of the Year is Caden Moreland. And the final award from 2019, uh, is our most valuable player award. And that goes to Marcus Vigil. Uh, Marcus was our starting quarterback, as well as served as a defensive end and part-time defensive back um, on the defensive side of the ball, and was truly the leader of our team, um, both statistically and with his personality. So the quarterback is often tasked with being that guy that pulls everything together and keeps everybody on the same page, and he did a great job of that. Um, very coachable. Um, a lot of fun to be around, hard worker. Um, he led the entire team with total yards this year. He was just shy of a thousand yards total. He finished with 985 yards. So that's quite an accomplishment for a young man. And he's only a sophomore. Um, he was also recognized by the Arkansas Valley um, League as our one and only all conference player. So he made the first team all conference. And um, I look forward to working with him for a couple more years and getting the most out of him and in turn he'll get the most out of the rest of the players and um, so I'm really proud of him and congratulations Marcus V Hill for being our 2019 most valuable player so that concludes the 2019 Trojan football awards I appreciate everybody tuning in to listen to my presentation and I'm looking forward to the future. We have some big plans for the summer and for next year and the coming years. And so we're gonna build upon some of those successes we had in 2019 and have a great 2020 season. So thank you again, this is Coach V Hill signing off.